This is a brief video on how we manage tooling in Genesis Evolution. There's two programs. Uh, one is called Tool Parameters, and we'll start with that. Tool Parameters is where we set the parameters, length, diameters, feed rates, and whatnot for all the different tools. And they're broken down into types of tools, drills, routers, and saws. And then each type of tool is broken down into the face of the panel it works on. Top face, front and back face for horizontal drills, left and right face. Uh, same with router bits. Um, let's look at a different router here. If we'll go to face one and the, these and for the routers they're further broken down into the type of tool, straight cutters, profile, bull nose, and sanding tools. So if we look at the most common type of tool, straight cutter, let's look at this half inch compression. Um, when we click on that tool it's already set up but every tool has to have a four digit uh, tool number. And that's how we refer to the tool in the program is with this tool number. Um, it's not the tool position. We'll talk about that in just a minute. Uh, every tool has its uh, a comment that shows up in the program when you load that tool. Um, the tool length gives you a graphic on how to measure the tool in the HSK holder. Uh, gives you diameter, minimum RPM, max RPM, and the default RPM. Typically we don't put an RPM in the program unless it's special. So if we don't put any RPM, it uses the default. The rotation is left or right. Um, the work speed is in meters per minute. Uh, the default penetration, how fast it goes from above the panel into the part. And then the A-cell and D-cell. Uh, and then a clearing quote is for special tools that might be a, like a tool that you bolt onto a shaft and you have to have clearance for a nut on the bottom of the tool or something like that. So. Uh, for most straight tools, um, we just leave the clearing quote at zero. And then for every tool, we can um, assign an image. And the software comes loaded with hundreds of different images. Any of these you can modify and save as a new image. Uh, but it, you have to have an image for every tool. And you can choose it from the library or make your own. So once you've defined your tool and the outfits, then you go to the second program, which is called um, Outfits and we'll go over to that and start it up. Outfits is where we take a tool that's already been defined and we tell the machine what position it's in uh, on the head. So if we zoom in a bit here we can see that we have the boring head, um, vertical drills, horizontal drills, uh, grooving saw, and over here is a, this machine that we have parameters here has a uh, uh, looks like an eight position tool changer. And so here's where we put tools in whatever position we want it to be in. So the tool position for routers and saws is a three digit number and two digit for the drills, but that's really irrelevant. It's just a reference number to know where to place the, the tool number on the machine. We, um, we call the, the tool by the, in the program by its two, four digit tool number that we set up in tool parameters. So uh, the beauty of that system is that you can take a tool and move it around on the tool, tool changer, move it to a different spot, and this, the program that you previously wrote will still find it on the machine. In the old days, we, the tool position and the tool number were the same, so if you rearrange the tool changer, you had to go rewrite all your programs. So, um, but with Genesis Evolution, we don't have to do that. We have a four-digit tool number and then we drag and drop it to a position and we can move that around at the machine without having to change the, uh, the program itself. So if we go back in here to routers, here's that half inch compression cutter we were looking at over in tool parameters earlier. And if we want to put that into a position, 307 and 305 are empty. So we can just take this tool and drag and drop it to any one of these positions. And when we, when we put the tool in a position, it highlights it in red and that means that a tool highlighted in red means it's already loaded somewhere in the tool changer and you can't load it anywhere else. So you can only have, routers can only be in one position. Uh, drills of course, since drills are all the um, a five millimeter drill is, is a five millimeter drill, you can put it in as many spots as you want to. Um, but basically once you've defined a tool and tool parameters you come over here to outfits, you drag and drop it in whatever position you want it to be in and that's it. That's not much to, to managing tools and evolution.